Welcome back everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. In today's video, we're going to check out the X-Tone Pro from Exonic, which promises to give you a very tactile, pedal-like experience out of your software-based guitar rig. So this is an interesting unit for quite a few reasons. They retail for about $220 on Amazon.com, which is pretty cheap considering it boasts a 192K sample rate with the USB audio interface. There is MIDI in and out. There's six assignable foot switches on here. There's a mic preamp with a gain control. There are monitor and XLR outs, and there is a guitar in. It's all housed in a pretty sturdy metal box, and the foot switches make that really satisfying click that we all know and love from our favorite pedals. So let's take a look at it up close and then we'll hear some examples. Before we get going, in the interest of transparency, I was sent this unit to demo, but no money changed hands, so this is not a paid review. Taking a closer look, there are six foot switches which send MIDI CC values so that they can be mapped and programmed to whatever software you're using, whether it's on an iPad or whether it's on a computer. Down here, we've got our guitar input. There there is an expression pedal input if you want to use stuff like volume pedals, pitch shifters, or wahs in your software. And there is the microphone input here, which is actually a multi-jack, so you can use XLR or quarter-inch TRS cables. There is an extra auxiliary power supply. There is a USB in. There's MIDI in and there's MIDI out. Furthermore, over here, there is a headphone amp if you want to use this to practice with and a ground lift. Then over on the left side, there is a right and left TRS output. Say if you wanted to connect this to your monitors and then there is an XLR output up here, which I am using. It's currently being hidden by my iPad. Furthermore, there is a gain control for the mic preamp. There is the ability to send phantom power down there if you're using a condenser mic or a unit that needs phantom power. There is a monitor input setting. For example, if you were miking up a guitar amp and recording it using this as your main interface. You can set this to monitor mode so there's no latency. And then over here, there is a mode switch which lets you assign foot switches in groups. I'm gonna use bias effects for this example. At the moment, I've got a patch that I made with the 5153 model. <laughs> Nice and chunky right there. What I want to be able to do with the X-Tone Pro is in this particular patch, just turn individual effects on and off. It would also be nice to be able to scroll through presets and to have a tap tempo. And it's very straightforward to set up here in the top right. We can go into the settings for bias effects. Uh, I believe the default screen would look something like this. You can scroll down to MIDI settings and you can go MIDI control assignments. Now you don't actually have to know how to program any MIDI to do this. You can just go new control assignment here. Let's go for some kind of switch and I'm using the 808 overdrive in there. So I'm gonna to go to the drive section. I'm gonna select the OD808 overdrive or the 808 OD, I believe it's this one right here. And now it's gonna come up with MIDI learn. I'm gonna to wanna to assign it to this foot switch here. So I just hit MIDI learn, press the foot switch and now it is programmed in there. I can do the same thing for the delay, the tap tempo and preset up and down. And I'm gonna assign all of those right now. And she's right now You've tasted holy water And there we go, we are done there. That took less than two minutes of real time. Now I have my overdrive on this particular switch here so I can turn it on and off. <laughs> And I've got a tap tempo switch up here. I'm turning my phaser on and off. I can also scroll up or down through the presets. For example, I can scroll down to my clean preset.
They're the parameters that I would use on a regular gig, pretty much what I use on any sort of modeling device or any rig I set up. And you can see there that you can totally tailor it to your own case use if you want to use amp channel switching or you want to change presets or you want to turn the tuner on just about any function in here you can assign very very easily using that midi learn function to the foot switch so that is how i would set it up and use it with bias on the ipad it also doubles up as a usb audio interface for your computer i'm actually recording my voice with my sm7b going straight into the microphone input i've got the gain control for the mic preamp at about three o'clock. And then I've plugged my guitar directly into the instrument input where I am using Mercurial Audio's Spark plugin in Pro Tools, which sounds like this. As with the examples with bias, if you're so inclined, you can program each of these foot switch to control various MIDI functions, either in your plugin or in your digital audio workstation. In this example, I'm gonna show off the x Pro to control some functions via MIDI in the Eventide H9. If you look in the manual, there are CC values given for each of these foot switches, which you can then program into your Eventide H9 or your modeler, whatever you're using that has MIDI and control various functions. For example, I can use these functions to cycle up and down through various presets. I've got a tap tempo on this button. I can bypass with this button. These are all totally customizable if you've got the H9 control app for your H9. And I think this is a tuner or something like that. So for example, I could start with this preset. There's one or two little gripes that I do have with this unit. You probably notice it, say, when I assign like a drive pedal to foot switch A and a delay to foot switch B in bias, that when I switch between them, the LEDs don't stay lit up. I think that's a little bit odd. It would be great if the LED was like a status indicator on there. Furthermore, it would be great if there was some kind of software which you could use via USB to set custom CC values in here. As it stands, you have to consult the manual and remember which CC values are pre-programmed in there. So as a general MIDI controller, if you are hoping to just use it as a MIDI controller, I think it falls a little bit short, but I can certainly see a lot of scope there for Exonic if they did want to incorporate some of those features into a general MIDI controller to use with stuff like the Axe FX. That would be really, really cool or Bluetooth or something like that. But I guess the goal of being able to take your iPad and use it live is definitely achieved with this kind of thing for not too much money either. The only downside I can see is that like running a USB cable to the front of the stage always seems a little bit precarious. But that aside, I think it definitely ticks the box as a great tactile interface if you wanna take your software-based rig and actually use it in a live musical setting. Uh, on top of all of that, I think the mic preamp sounded decent. It didn't sound as good as my UAD Apollo mic preamps, but not many things do. As you can hear from the example where I was using it, there was just a teeny weeny little bit more noise in there, but I think at this price point, I'm kind of just nitpicking. So there you go. That's the X-Tone Pro from Exonic. They also make a non-pro version, which is a little bit smaller and a little bit cheaper. Definitely a company that I will be keeping my eyes open to see what else they release because at the price point, they're kind of ticking most of the boxes that you would want from a unit like this. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.